In my last video, I introduced you to Nicholas Muller's ideas on defining safety in terms of harm, aleatoric uncertainty, and epistemic uncertainty, and how they apply to machine learning. This time, we'll go further into the ideas that he developed with Sven Ove Hansen. Our question is, how can we minimize the probability of expected harms and the possibility of unexpected ones. They give us four categories, inherently safe design, safety reserves, safe fail, and procedural safeguards. Inherently safe design is the exclusion of a potential hazard from the system, like filling a blimp with helium instead of hydrogen. Safety reserves is designing a system that is stronger than it needs to be for an intended load like making a pressure cooker very thick. Safe fail is a system that remains safe even when it fails in its intended operation, like a train stopping when the engineer releases the dead man switch. Procedural safeguards are measures beyond ones designed into the core functionality of the system, like certifications and warning notices. Now, let's apply these four categories to large language models. An inherently safe model avoids the harm of hallucination by separating out the language and grammar processing module from one that keeps the memory or facts. A system with safety reserves outputs answers that have high confidence. A safe fail system to avoid the harm of toxic interactions has an egregious conversation detector that ends a chat when it starts going off the rails. Fact sheets are a transparent documentation method for machine learning systems that serve as a procedural safeguard. We need all four categories to make machine learning safe.